let me say this really uh, it's funny because i'm actually doing a breakfast tomorrow with steve taylor um <laughs> be the first time that we've been out been around each other since that actual game wow um and, 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 and that was that was was the major motivation you know, Broderick Thomas had said they had the key and they changed the lock, that we no longer had the key and there was no way they were going to come in our house. All that was certainly motivation for me. You know, we dropped from number one. We'd been number one all year long. One, my first start, we played Missouri at home and we're supposed to blow them out. We we struggled to win the game. And so Nebraska, I think, had played someone and blew them out. There was a lot of speculation as who would be one or two beginning of the year. And because of the injury to Bell and my first start, we struggled. They dropped us from number one to number two and made Nebraska one and us two because everyone around the country, not just Steve Taylor, anticipated Nebraska beating us in Lincoln on that day. And so it was personal. Um, I had grown up my entire life watching this uh, rivalry. Uh, My first actual OU game that I ever been to, my sister got me tickets. She was in the uh, the band at OU. She got me tickets to watch the 1980 game where – Urban Fryer, Mike Rozier, Turner Gill were the quarterbacks. Of course, we lost that night. Wow. And so, um, I, 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 I don't know if that was 80 or not, but I just remember uh, just having a tremendous amount of focus and just grit and determination to go out there and shock the nation and do and help lead our team to victory. I'll never forget, Thursday night, uh, our last practice, Coach Switzer walked into the huddle, and he told me, point blank, Charlie Thompson, if you play like you prepared all week, you're going to shock the nation on Saturday. And that was my focus. And that's what I did. Well, it all goes back to the beginning of what you what's in you. You know, listen, life wasn't wasn't a cake wall for me. I was raised by a single mom who raised five kids on her own. I had to always go out and try to survive and make my own way. And, and you know, I was given a God-given talent to be blessed to play football, baseball, and all these sort of things. And so I just... It was it was really business as usual. I expected that out of myself. I expected uh, to me to go in and be great. Uh, listen, I told Coach Jim Donnan when I was a freshman at OU, it had been on campus probably about a month. I told him a month that I was better than Jamel and I wanted to play that year, my true freshman year. So I, I had a tremendous amount of confidence. I had a tremendous amount of confidence in myself, um, and so it was just that. I mean, it's about the grit. That's why I tell young kids and parents all over the country now when I go across and do camps and I run my youth park or youth program here, put it in them early. And, all, and that's all they know because that's all I knew. I only knew, how, I only knew to go out there and compete. And I wasn't scared of the moment because I was prepared my entire life of envisioning that for myself.